In New Jersey, a nonprofit organization in Sussex County says it's at risk of not being able to help those in need. They're saying that because of a mailing to solicit thousands of dollars in, from donors disappeared from the post office without a trace. So now the group is searching for answers. CBS 2's The Leah Perez has more. Tina Majorino, the executive director of the nonprofit Birth Haven, was devastated to learn that none of the recipients of the 3,500 mailers she dropped off at the post office on December 6th received them. Majorino says the mailers are sent out annually before the holidays and generate the largest source of revenue for the organization. I uh, immediately reached out to the post office where I personally dropped the mailers off at. Uh, we have a, a nonprofit permit number there, so I dropped, I contacted them, and they confirmed that they did send it out. Birth Haven is located in Newton, New Jersey. It provides services, including a place for homeless pregnant women and teens to live. Since the mailers have gone missing, Majorino says there's been a serious shortfall in donations so far this month, an estimated loss of about 50 thousand dollars. I've personally, you know, lost sleep over this and been so worried about it, wondering where it is. Are they, you know, are donors going to get it before Christmas? Are they going to get it after Christmas? Are, are they going to get it at all? Majorino says postal officials last tracked down the mailers here at the Teterboro distribution facility on December 7th, but not a trace of them since then. We reached out to postal officials and in a statement, a spokesman said the U.S. Postal Service strives for excellent customer service in our effort to deliver for America. To assist the customer about this matter, local officials have been in contact and are committed to resolving the situation. But Majorino says even if the mailers are found and sent out now, the delay is such a huge setback to reach donors since the holiday season is almost over. Dalia Perez, CBS 2 News.